Hey everyone, this is Zach Hample coming to you from Marlins Park in Miami, and I'm here to talk about balls again. This is the situation. The Miami Marlins are using special commemorative baseballs this weekend only as part of their 25th anniversary celebration. So that's why I'm here. I figured I was going to come down here at some point this year, so once I heard about the special balls, I figured, well, why not come down and try to catch one, or three, or ten. So the Padres are in town, three-game series, I'll be here for all of them, and I figure these balls will only show up during games, but of course I'm going to get in early, try to catch a bunch during batting practice. Should be a really good time, so let's do it. Muchas, muchas, por favor, Jose. Thank you. <laughs> no. Oh, man. I saw the special logo. I thought maybe it... Oh, man. A Florida spring training ball from 2017. All right. We are inside Marlins Park right now. Got inside today more than two and a half hours early with the season ticket holders, but despite that early access and the really low attendance, I only managed to get one baseball. The Marlins just don't hit that well, and the setup in this stadium is really funky. They confine everybody to left field for the first hour. So yeah, just one toss-up from Jose Urania. Justin Bohr, a lefty, was putting on a show, launching balls into the second deck but you can't get over there right now, so that's pretty frustrating. The Padres just started hitting. They do have some guys with legit power, so we'll see if it picks up from here. Hunter Renfro with a deep home run that reached the porch above the Clevelander. I scooted over, jumped up, and caught that one on the fly. That felt really good, and it was actually the only batted ball that I caught today. Now, right after that, I headed over to right center field toward the end of Padres BP, and there was a really cool guy out there named Ian who pointed out a baseball in the bullpen and then lent me his cup trick so I could snag it because it was wedged kind of in an awkward spot between a chair and these two big gray metal things with pads on them. I had to lean way out. There almost wasn't enough rope on that thing, but I did get the ball to go in the cup and then raised it all the way up, gave that ball away, and then after that, we spotted yet another ball in the bullpen. I used Ian's cup trick once again to get that, and I used my glove trick to get one that was in the gap behind the outfield wall. So, five total baseballs for me today so far. And by the way, guys, if you're wondering how the glove trick works, check the description for this video. I once filmed an entire separate video that was basically a tutorial on how to set up and use the glove trick. So I'll link to it there. Good luck if you bring your device here, and we'll see what happens next. Almost time for game time. I'm pumped. I feel like I've been seeing the Padres everywhere this year. Eric Hosmer, Carlos Villanueva, Hunter Renfro stretching it out. My videographer Brandon is from San Diego, so he is absolutely loving this. And as for me, it's the fourth inning, no score, and I am really working it. Switching back and forth from my Marlins gear to my Padres gear. I have tickets in two different spots, working this area behind the plate for foul balls. Two lefties are pitching, so the lineups are stacked with righties, and there are a lot of empty rows to work with tonight. I also have seats down by the first base dugout, so every inning when the Padres are coming off the field, I'm scooting down there and trying to get a third out ball. The protective netting is making it a little bit tricky. Some of the regulars here have their Padres gear on. They're really going for it. A few of my friends have already gotten the commemorative balls. Nothing for me yet. I'm still hopeful. I am definitely going to get one. It 
is over here in Miami. The Marlins won this game by the score of four to nothing. And I was moving around so much the whole night that I barely had a chance to talk to you guys. I was behind home plate going for foul balls. I was down by the first base dugout going for toss-ups. Now my videographer was behind home plate trying to get a shot of me going for fouls. There was one hit to my left, there was one hit to my right, there was one that went a little bit too short, and he stayed there for the first five or six innings when I went down to the dugout. So while I was down there in the bottom of the fifth inning, Marlins starting pitcher Caleb Smith had a really good at bat and fouled off a bunch of balls. One of them hit the protective screen, landed in the camera well, and bounced up right to me. So a game foul ball, there's no shot of that, but you can see the ball right here. It has a really cool looking smudge on the commemorative logo. So of course I was thrilled to get that one, but I really wanted to get one more that hopefully looked even better. So after the game ended, I got back down near the first base dugout, right where the umpires exit the field. Home plate umpire Jerry Lane has always been really friendly. He tossed up a bunch of balls to a lot of guys down there. I was actually able to lift up the bottom of the protective screen, wedge my glove underneath, and get him to toss one to me. And that one has a pristine commemorative logo, 25th anniversary for the Marlins. I am so pumped up to have that ball. That is the entire reason that I came down here to Miami. So, mission accomplished, and I still have two more days here. Who knows what else is gonna happen? Seven baseballs total today bring my lifetime total to 10,391. Again, just feeling really good about this. So thanks for watching this video, you guys, and stay tuned for the next one tomorrow.